So as you all know by now, convicted scumbag and paedophile Rolf Harris has died. And the country is not sad at all. And why would they be? His crimes date back so long, much like Jimmy Savile, and the footage of them together is chilling. They just... It just looks like two, two blokes hanging out, but just look at them. You can... You could tell from a mile away they were up to no good. And then when it all came out, about Rolf, stories, much like Jimmy said, pouring out and whatnot. The worst being is one of the, um, during one of Rolf Harris's shows that he had, one of the support acts was apparently threatened by him as well. Said, if you're funnier than me, I'll effing kill you. And you know what? The guy was laughing, but Rolf was, unfortunately, quite serious. He didn't kill him, but because that'd be a whole other situation. And the worst thing about this is, well, not the worst thing about it, but for me anyway, I used to really like the guy. Like, when I was young, I used to love watching his art shows and guessing what it is yet and all this stuff. And, you know, his work with animals as well. It's fantastic, but this is how they get you. They act like the nicest people in the world. All the charity work, everything. It's all a mask for the seediness that is going on in their brains. And <laughs> it's, it's the children's TV presenters again. It always is. It's always people who work with children. What causes it in their minds? Again, as we covered in the Philip Schofield one, what happened in his past to make him groom young boys? What happened to Jimmy? What happens to Rolf? Something, there is a pattern somewhere that we need to psychologically work out and stop this from happening. But we won't ever stop this from happening. This is the thing. An interesting thing as well was, um, I think it was yesterday morning on This Morning, which for those not in the UK is a UK morning show, funnily enough, on in the mornings. And Vanessa Feltz said, um, during a interview on live telly that she was doing with him, he was touching her up, just, just off camera, uh, but they were both on camera, but you couldn't see what he was doing, and she had to no-sell it. She had to act like nothing was happening, but apparently, if you see the footage, um, which I can't show, obviously, copyright, but you can see in her face that something is not right. So this guy, much like Jimmy, has been doing things in front of our eyes for years. Anyone is sad that he's dead. Why? But in terms of children's TV presenters, again, again, the pattern. Do we need to be looking at someone like Andy Peters next? Again, comes across as the nicest guy, but is anything ever gonna come out? Who knows? I really hope not. <laughs> again, really hope not, but unlike the previous video, where we, we gave tribute, we rest in peace Tina Turner. We certainly do not want Rolf Harris to rest in peace. He can burn in hell where he belongs. And quite frankly, that is all I've got to say about that. I guess for, for, for lighter topics, check out one of these two videos there. That's it's certainly not gonna be anything as controversial as this. Subscribe if you want, but till then, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.